even in an era full of blatantly political charades, this one's laying on it on a little bit thick. Donald Trump's allies in Congress have introduced a resolution calling for the impeachment of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who happens to be overseeing the Russia investigation, and Robert Mueller. Predictably, Democrats are wholeheartedly against it, but perhaps surprisingly, many Republicans are as well. House Speaker Paul Ryan said it was cavalier, and this morning Attorney General Sessions reiterated his support for Rosenstein. My deputy, Rod Rosenstein, is highly capable. I have the uh, highest confidence in him. You probably know not only did he go to the Wharton School of Business, but I uh, graduated from Harvard right here uh, in this area. So uh, what I would like Congress to do is to focus on some of the legal challenges that are out there. Naming the colleges seemed to be a message uh, intended for an audience of one. We know Donald Trump likes fancy schools. Um, Joyce is back with us along with Nick, Charlie, and Jonathan here. Let's, let's put up the articles of impeachment because um, all you need is Google, not even a researcher, to know that they're all BS. So here you go from the articles of impeachment. Meadows and Jordan believe that appointing the special counsel was an impeachable offense in and of itself, basically rehashing an argument that's now been rejected by two federal judges. Um, Joyce, the idea that it's an impeachable offense to have appointed Robert Mueller seems to be um, not a good way to, to leave the impression that this is at all remotely serious. Right. Typically, when you're upholding your oath of office in the best traditions of the Justice Department and you appoint someone who people as varied as Newt Gingrich and Hillary Clinton approve of, it's going to be awfully hard to make a case for impeachment on that basis. And the, then also from the articles of impeachment, they write that Mr. Rosenstein's memo raises fundamental concerns related to the government's basis for alleging collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia and whether these allegations resulted in potential crimes warning investigation. Uh, my understanding Joyce is that collusion in and of itself isn't a crime and that the the entire mission stemmed from the unanimous conclusion of the intelligence community and law enforcement that Russia meddled in our election. Why are Republicans coming down on the other side of getting to the bottom of what an American adversary did in our democracy? I keep wondering when this fever dream that Congress is suffering from <laughs> is going to break. I mean, you know, the primary mission here has always been at a very serious level to deal with the idea that Russia was interfering in our elections and also to determine whether or not the Trump campaign was involved in that interference in any way. That's an American mission. It's not a partisan mission. And it's still hard to understand why Congress can't wrap its mind around that. The idea that they would try to pin it on Rosenstein, of all people, this innocent third party, not involved in the campaign, the career DOJ employee who's trying to get it right, who's bent over backwards to give them access to documents in a way, frankly, that goes far beyond what Congress is entitled to see. This is a rank piece of political activity. It looks like it's going to fail and be reduced to some sort of a censure motion. Even that should should uh, fail here. This is just inappropriate and purely political. Nick Avasori, they also re-up one of their favorite attacks, the FISA application uh, for Carter Page, which was reauthorized four times when the original uh, surveillance proved fruitful to the investigation. Um, what do you make of the fact that they're now sort of resorting to the bottom of the barrel things that even some of the anchors on Fox News have suggested have no uh, credibility? Well, look, I think this uh, document is best understood as, as part of the campaign platform for Congressman Jordan's uh, campaign for speaker. Uh, it's a political document. It's intended to win the approval and support of the president, I think, uh, to signal where these men stand on the great issue of the day. Uh, I don't think it will actually go to anything beyond possibly censure, as Joyce was saying. Uh, it's, it's not a serious document in a legal sense. It's not a fair and accurate reflection of the facts uh, of any of these matters. It feels like it's been dredged up from Twitter and the, and the comment boards on Breitbart. Uh, but it will be effective as a political document uh, for certain people in the House. Um, they also um, blame Rosenstein for the application, which was submitted and approved by four Republican, four judges appointed by Republicans six months before Rosenstein was on the job. Why do you think the White House, people like Don McGahn and John Kelly and Kellyanne Conway's husband is prominent and respected in legal circles, why do they stay 
with a full-on war being waged against Rod Rosenstein? First of all, I think Nick's read on that is exactly right. I think that this is a political document. These are allies of the president who were trying to ally themselves with him. Well, what, whatever the document to... is, to Charlie's point, 40 percent of the country believe it to be true. Sure, but this is this is it, it is yet also it's the latest, the latest distraction. It's Uranium One. It's the, the Pakistani IT guy. It's Hillary Clinton's server. It's just another method to muddy the waters, to throw to throw something out there to confuse the public, to give them something to bat on, to get a new cycle or two. And then move on to your question about resignations. We just don't see that in this White House. At this point, there's been perhaps one resignation out of principle when Gary Cohn over tariffs, and he, he's and he's of course who stayed have, during who Charlottesville. Would have, who would have taken a higher job? Right. Who, yeah, who was going to who would still come back for chief of staff? But this is something we've seen time and again. People have made the decision to stay in this White House. They are not leaving because of the president's behavior. You know what? What is everything you said is, is right about this? The distraction. What really is striking about this is that this is not just a hack job. It is an embarrassing hack job. Right. It, it, it is filled with factual errors. Its legal argument is laughable. You would think that if, in fact, they want, even if they want to go through the motions of doing something like this, you know, they would come up with something that is not this, you know, just laugh out have loud. Have you seen Jim Jordan? I mean, well, have you met Jim well, okay, well, Jordan? Well, okay, well, this is exactly what I would well, imagine exactly, Jim Jordan to, to, would to, to the extent that Jim Jordan's re reputation joke. was, in, well, he certainly is a joke. Whatever was left of his reputation has been shredded even as he launches this campaign. Jack Goldsmith, well, the former comes in a parallel. Let's, time let's, for him. Let's, yeah. Let Very me remind you all. Time. I feel like you all have amnesia. Let's remind no. everyone who Jim Jordan is. <laughs> I want to know why you won't give us what we've asked for. Sir, I certainly hope that the, your colleagues are not under that impression. Uh, that is not accurate, sir. And you it can, is accurate. We have caught you hiding Mr. Chairman, can we allow Mr. the witness to answer? Your use of this to attack me personally Why did you is uh, it's not a wrong. Personal. Point of order, Mr. Chairman, may the witness be permitted it's to not, answer the it's question? It's not personal. Proposed. I appreciate your service. It's not personal. We just want the information. Mr. Jordan, I appreciate you saying it isn't personal. Sometimes it feels that way. It's always personal. We should also note, if you want to understand Jim Jordan, he's also under scrutiny for his role as an assistant wrestling coach in a massive sex and growing sex abuse scandal. But doesn't he have a staff? I mean, isn't the job of a staff? Is, 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 if I'm your sure he runs his if, staff to, to produce boss, that. If your boss is a moron, isn't the job of the staff to protect you from going out in public and confirming that you're a I, moron? I think it's worse than being a moron. Yeah. I think it's being, uh, this is disgracing. Well, it is cynical. Yeah. The, the, the Republicans in the well, House. It, and, it and, I guess, and I guess, Nick Confessori, that's where we are. Are. Yeah. They're now happy to be debased in servitude of Donald Trump. Well, you know, he's, he's, he's correct. It's not personal. It's business, as they say. <laughs> uh, it's politics. Uh, it, is, it is not about Rod Rosenstein. They would say the same thing about whoever was in that job who had taken the same actions. It's about power, Nicole, preserving power, extending it, and protecting this president. Joyce, will you just give us some sort of... Um, rope to grab onto, that we will be pulled out of this um, upside down, um, down is up, up is down, where Republicans attack a Republican appointee who in any normal, if any one of the other 16 other Republicans had prevailed, Rod Rosenstein may have been uh, appointed to the same job. But I'm guessing the White House wouldn't green light attacks on him from other Republicans in Congress. I think the good news here is that this impeachment document won't reach the floor of the House for a vote. There won't be a serious effort to remove Rosenstein from his job no. to facilitate the White House in doing that. And everyone needs to remember that not too far behind these efforts to attack Rosenstein is an attack on Bob Mueller, an attack on the ongoing Russia investigation. This is all part of kowtowing to Trump and trying to bring that investigation down, which I guess takes us full circle back to obstruction. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.